absolute and relative coordinates. In the last lesson, the manual input, we learned how to use the command line to manually input points for our line. So let's go ahead and try that again really quick. We'll go ahead and make a square at the origin. We'll enter 0, 0, enter. Then we'll go ahead and use 1, 0, enter. And then 1, 1, enter. Our next point will need to be here at 1, 0 or 0, 1. So we'll enter 0, 1, enter. And finally, we will right click and click close. And now we have a square. But what happens if you wanted a square somewhere in this area? Down here was relatively easy because we had the origin to help us. So if we were to click here, for example, and if you notice the bottom left corner where we have our coordinates, we're at 8.3940. Now this could be kind of hard to remember if you're drawing a various different kind of shape. So the coordinates are here, just in case you didn't see them. Well, instead of using the origin as our point of reference, we're going to go ahead and pan to the side, and we're going to use this point here that we specified. And a square is pretty easy. We're going to go one direction, one this way, one direction this way, and then again one and one. So let's try and move one unit up for our next point. In order to do that, we'll go ahead and use the at sign. That can be found by the number two key. So hold shift and two, and this is telling us that we are going to enter our next point relative to this point that we specified. And we want to go up one unit. So we want zero units in the x direction and one unit in the y direction. And press enter. And now we made our line. Let's go ahead and try that again. We we'll use the shift and press two for the at sign. And now we want to go one unit to the right. Make sure not to use this point as your relative point or the origin. We simply want to use the at sign to tell AutoCAD that the last point that we clicked on is the, are going to be our origin. So we want to move one unit to the right. That will be one unit for x and zero units for y. And press enter. And there we go. We almost have our square completed. Let's go ahead and finish this off. We'll use the at sign. And now we want to go zero units in the x direction, comma, and we want to go down one unit in the y direction. So we'll do a negative one and press enter. And there's our point. And now all we have to do is right click and close. Pan over to the side so we can see both squares in view. Using the at sign to enter relative points can be a lot easier than trying to figure out what your point would be according to the origin.